Hey everybody, this is Mrs. Voss and we're going to be doing SOL review. We're talking about comparing and ordering real numbers. Step number one, you ask yourself, is the number a percent? How do you tell? Well, if it has a percent sign, it's a percent. If that's the way it is, leave it alone. If the number is not a percent, you want to put it into decimos and multiply it by 100 to make it a percent because they are, it's a lot easier to compare those numbers. Remember the word ascending means you're starting with the smallest and going to the biggest, and descending means that you are starting with the biggest and going to the smallest. So let's get to work. Okay, this says identify the number with the smallest value. First thing you wanna do is make sure you know what you're looking for. Then I'm gonna go through each one and we're gonna talk it out. A is a decimal, not a percent. So let's put it in our calculator and we multiply by 100 and now we have a percent, 63.2%. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. 16 divided by 25, again, not a percent. So let's make it one and it is 64%. The next one is already a percent. So I'm just gonna type it in my calculator so I don't forget um, that it's there. And the last one, of course, we got to put it in our calculator, times 10. If you want to do a negative 1, you do A to the B power and then put in negative 1. Then you got to make it, the cursor come down, multiply times 100, and you've got 61.3%. So smallest value, 63.2, 64, 62 or 61.3. That is your smallest value. If you need to look back, just stop the video, rewind, and watch it again. Let's go on to our next one. All right, this says which number line correctly represents the irrational numbers listed below. Well, the first thing you've got to do is make sure you put these in your calculator correctly. So that's a negative square root of 40. Okay, so that we don't have to change to a percent because they actually have these on a number line. So that is negative 6.3. So let's go ahead and put the rest of them in. We've got the square root of 75. We've got the negative square root of 95. We've got the negative square root of 10. And we've got the square root of five. So let's go up and look at all of these. So we've got negative 6.3. Let's look for that one. Uh, there is no negative 6.3 on A, so we're getting rid of that. Uh, there is not one on B. Uh, there is one on C, and uh, it's right here, 6.3. And then there's not one on D, but let's go ahead and check the rest of C to make sure. We need an 8.66, which is right there. We need a negative 9.7, which is right here. We need a negative 3.2, which is right there. And then finally, we need a 2.2, which is right there. So definitely, C's our answer. So just take your time. Make sure you uh, look at those negatives and those positives. They make a big difference, okay? Here we go. Whoops, skipped one. It says, which set of numbers are listed in descending order? That means we're going down. We're starting at big, and we're going down to small. All right, now I want you to notice when you get a problem like this, all of the answers have the same numbers. So I just start with the top one and put those numbers in my calculator so I don't get confused. I've got a negative 66%, so I don't have to do anything to that. I've got a negative 0.45, which means I have to make it a percent, multiply by 100, so that's negative 45%. I've got a negative 1% over three that I'm going to make into a percent. And I've got a 1.8 that I'm going to make into a percent. All right, so let's look at this. We want to start with the biggest number. We know our negatives are not the biggest number, so we've got to start with 1.8, okay? So that means these two are out. So it's got to be one of these. 
So let's look at our next number. Uh, we've got a negative 66, a negative 45, and a negative 33. And you got to remember when you're thinking about negative numbers, they're going backwards. So the um, if we're going from biggest to smallest, we want the, the, the biggest negative number, which is going to be negative 33.3, which is negative one-third. So it looks like this is going to be our answer here, but let's keep going. Then we've got negative 45 and negative 66. Okay. So um, that's how you have to look at that. You have to remember when doing when dealing with negative numbers, anything smaller than zero, your negative 33 would have been here. Then you would have had negative 45. Then you would have had negative 66. So going that way is what you wanted to do. All right, let's go to the next one. Just take me a second. Okay, make sure I'm at the right one. This one says put the following numbers in descending order. Descending again means going down, big to small. We've got some few different things here. I want to show you how to put that in your calculator. One and two thirds, you would do one space, then two divided by three, and you would multiply that by 100 to make it a percent the 9.24 times 10, and then you're gonna click on A raised to the B power and put in your negative two. Remember to multiply it by 100. It's easy to forget once you've done all that. Now we've got the number pi. You have to multiply that by 100 because it didn't have a percent sign. A lot of times people forget that. And then you have 1.457 times 10 to the fifth power. If you need practice on putting any of these in the calculator, just ask us. We're glad to help. That's a huge number there, a huge percentage. And then we have a negative. Always remember when you're talking about a negative, those negatives are going to be the smallest. So negative square root of 225 and of course I got to make the cursor come out from under the square root multiply by 100 so I have lots of numbers here so let's take a look it said descending order so first of all I got to look for the biggest percent I've got 166.7 percent I've got 9.24 percent I've got 314.2 percent I've got, wow, 14,570,000. I think that's definitely winning for the biggest. And then I've got negative 1,500%. So we know this guy right here is going to be our biggest number. So let's just move him down here. Now, what I do, when I put one in, I actually carefully take it out of Desmos so I don't get confused about what I have left. All right, so now I'm down to four numbers. What is the next one going down? So again, I'm going to ask myself, what's the biggest number left, which is pi, the 314%. Okay, so I'm going to come up here, use my calculator. These are good test-taking skills. Then I'm going to ask myself again, I'm descending, I'm going biggest to smallest, so I'm going to say, what's the biggest one left? Well, it's definitely 166.7%. So that one's next. I'm going to come up here and take it away. Again, what is the biggest number left? So that is the 9.24 times 10 to the negative 2. I'm going to take that out of my calculator. And finally, the smallest number was the only negative we had. So you always got to remember, look for the negatives. And if you get a number like pi, you still have to multiply it by 100 to make it 8%. Okay, let's try one more. I know I'm going fast. If you need to stop and rewind, do that. Okay, it's, it's going to be worth it for you. All right. This one says select each number between 510% and 7.43 times 10 to the 0. 
Well, first things first, we've got to make both numbers percents. So let's start with the 7.432 times 10 raised to the zero power. Don't forget, to make it a percent, you multiply by 100. So that number is now 743.2%. So I know what two numbers I'm trying to be between. So I'm going to clear that one out, and I'm going to put the rest in the calculator. Okay? I can do it one at a time since I'm just figuring out what's between. So 5.15 times 100. That's 515 percent. That is definitely between 510 and 743. So there's my first answer. And I'm going to save myself some keystrokes and just put in the numbers here. 7 space. I'm going to do 5 divided by 6. And that gives me 783, which is bigger than 743. So that's not it. And we're going to come right back here. Notice what I'm doing in my calculator. I do everything in my calculator. 0 0.059. And then I'm doing times 10 raised to the second power. Okay, that's 590. That is definitely between those two numbers. And then I'm going to come here. And I'm going to do point or 5 times 100, which gives me 4,500. Oops, I better make sure I take everything I need to take out of that calculator. I made a mistake there. 0. 0.45 times 100 is 45. That's too small. And then I'm going to do 22 divided by 3. And that's 733, which is definitely between those two numbers. So that's how you do that. All right, again, if you need extra help, text us, contact us, or just go back through the videos, watch them in slow motion, watch them again, stop the video between each thing I do, that way you know exactly what's up. All right, you're gonna do great, we believe in you. Bye-bye.